And yes. we are recording. Hi everyone, it's me, Mrs. Harris. And me, Miss Underwood. Hello everyone, nice to see you. And we are delivering an assembly for you this morning, which we are recording here at Bridge Academy. So I'm just gonna share my screen and then we will be able to deliver our assembly for you. Lovely. So we are sharing our screen. We are definitely recording. We are checking everything as we go. And I'm just going well to done. screen it. We make a very poor double act and uh, and not good with the technology. So we apologise in advance. But we're getting better. Yeah. Um, so we are yeah. here at Bridge and none of you are at Bridge and we miss you all. It's not right having you all not here. However, we all have to do what we have to do. We have to take the advice that we are given. We have to stay at home. We have to protect the NHS and we have to save lives. But we are so looking forward to having you all back with us. Yeah, so I think for, for the sake of this little video, we're going to pretend that we can see all your happy smiling faces um and we'll have you back as soon as possible very much looking forward to it so what we are going to discuss today is a little bit about good habits and keeping up those routines which are so important at the moment uh, so i'm going to kick off talking a little bit about one of our favorite things to do in life which is sleep we all enjoy sleeping and we have a lovely cute picture of a dog just to help out with the slide lovely we all need that in our life at the moment so sleep. The good thing about sleep is it's got huge amounts of benefits for us. Uh, and the first thing uh, is a bit to do with school, I'm afraid, which is about learning and memory. Um, and all of those new things that you are learning in a day, uh, all the revision that you are doing, or the quizzing that you are doing, all of those are sort of new bits of information. And sleep helps move that information into our long-term memory. So it's really important that you're all getting a good night's sleep in order that when you come back to school, you still have retained all that new information that you are learning at the moment. Also, it helps us with things like um, controlling our weight and metabolism. And also really important at the moment is our immune system. Uh, because obviously we know that we are living in rocky times at the moment um, uh, with health and things like that. So our immune system needs to be as strong as possible. And um, just a good way to keep that as strong as possible is just to get a good night's sleep and a good night's rest. And perhaps the most important thing about sleep is that it's really good for our emotional and mental health. Uh, and at the moment, there might be times where you're feeling a bit stressed. Uh, you're feeling a bit anxious about things. And if you've had a good night's sleep, that can really help calm that down. So two recommendations from me about sleep is one, you need about eight, nine hours of sleep a night as we're just a little bit older than you, not too much, just a bit older than you. We need slightly less, um, but you do need eight to nine hours. Now, try not to have any more than that because actually that can have a negative effect as well. And it is tempting just to sleep through lockdown, I'm sure, um, but it is really important that you keep this sort of natural in a body clock okay and if you have that and if you're going to bed at a reasonable time and getting up at a reasonable time that means that you're going to feel so much more better at the moment miss harris next so now i'm going to talk to you a little bit about a healthy diet as well because at the same time as sleep being really important it is so important for us that we are trying to maintain as healthy a diet as possible and that seems more challenging at the moment because some things have been harder to get hold of from the shops we are going to the shops less frequently but it is really important for us to focus on this as much as we can do because a healthy diet can help us too similarly uh, to a lot of the um, positive benefits of sleep it can help us to maintain a healthy weight avoid certain health problems and like Miss Underwood was saying we all need to make sure we are as healthy as we can be at the moment it can also have a real positive impact on our moods it can help us to sharpen our minds which is really good for our learning and again it can have a really positive effect on our mental health and well-being and then it can support our healthy growth as well so it's really really important so how can we make sure in this climate that we are able to maintain as healthy a diet as possible well, firstly, let's do a little bit of research. Uh, here's some food facts from the NHS. I've got a link on this assembly, and I would like you to click on that link for me, please. And I would like you, with your families, 
to learn some food facts, especially about reducing the amount of salt we have, our saturated fat and our sugar, because they are all really, really important uh, that we are able to reduce those and limit those to as healthy a limit as possible. And if we have too much of those things, sometimes it can be really obvious, sometimes we can see it, in our bodies but sometimes we can't and it's all taking place on the insides and we can't see what's going on on the insides but it can lead to a number of things it can it can lead to causing and being a contributing factor to, to some really serious diseases such as heart diseases later in life or type 2 diabetes or some cancers so it's really important that we try and reduce those three things so have a look on this website for me and find out some of those facts about what is a healthy amount, what is not a healthy amount, where is salt hiding, where is sugar hiding, to make sure that we don't have too much of it. And then the other thing that I want you to think about as well is how can we still maintain our five a day? Because sometimes we are not going to the shops at the moment on a regular basis. Uh, and the frequency that we are getting fresh fruit and vegetables will probably be less than it was a couple of months ago and fruit and vegetables are really really important to us because they are a really great source of vitamins and minerals and fiber and it's really important that we get them but it's important that we remember as well that it doesn't have to just be from fresh fruit and vegetables that we get all of these benefits so even though we can't get fresh fruit and vegetables as frequently as we would like to i want you to remind your parents that we still get all of those benefits from frozen fruit and veg and from tinned fruit and veg and also try, uh, dried fruit. It all counts, as does fruit juice, although not too much fruit juice because it's got lots of sugar in as well. Uh, but all of these things still contain all of those benefits. And if we get them either frozen or tinned or dried, they're much easier to store. We can store them for a longer time, which means that we can use them whilst we're waiting uh, for an extra uh, delivery or you know an extra supply of fresh fruit and veg okay so our five a day counts I'm going to uh, it's really important I'm going to pass you back to Miss Underwood now who's going to talk about exercise exercise super so I'm sure that you have all been inspired by Captain Tom Moore doing his 100 laps 100 years of age and he's still out there doing his exercise raising lots of money for the NHS, uh, which is quite remarkable. So if he can do it, we can definitely do our daily exercise. Get out there for your constitutional, get out there for your once a day and making sure uh, that you get your heart pumping a little bit. If you can't go out, then you can always do lots of things inside as well. Uh, Joe Wicks is doing his daily videos. I'm sure you must have all seen and taken part in one of uh, Joe Wicks's exercise uh, videos already. They're actually quite tough. They are quite difficult, but keep keep at it. I'm sure that we're all going to be super healthy and fit by the end of it. Um, so the government recommends that we get 150 minutes of moderate exercise uh, per week. I would also just sort of encourage you to not just do exercise indoors, but also do try to get outdoors. Um, and get some sunshine as well and get some vitamin D as much as possible. Okay, so the sun is shining at the moment, which is a great thing. Uh, we are lucky to have that. Mm. Uh, so make sure that you are trying to get out, make sure you're socially distancing, obviously, when you are out there. Uh, but exercise is so important. Okay. Again, not again for our mental health and making sure that we are uh, staying uh, nice and stress free. Miss Harris. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our relationship with social media and technology. Because in many ways, social media and technology have so many benefits, so many positive qualities that are so important to us at this very time. But at the same time, we need to make sure that we get that balance because we know that there can be negative impacts as well. So at the moment, we are living in a more virtual world than we have ever lived in before. You're getting most of your learning virtually. Uh, you will be speaking to a lot of your friends and family via screens rather than you know, in real life, apart from obviously your immediate family who you are living with at the moment. So there are real benefits of social media and technology at the moment, especially in terms of connecting us to each other and being able to communicate with each other and all of the benefits of creativity that come from that. But it is really important that we do limit how much time we spend on social media 
and with technology and with the media as a whole as well, because there are some negative impacts there as well. Because if we don't limit it, uh, then it can start to have a negative impact on us. So we need to make sure that we are staying limited. And what that will allow us to do is reconnect with the real world. Let's make sure we're not living in a virtual bubble all the time. It's so important that we are staying connected and that we are being more self-aware. We're more aware of ourselves and our surroundings um, and that we are connected with the real world. As and well turn as off the news sometimes. Turn off the news sometimes. Yeah, it's good to have, uh, you know, important bits of information shared with us, but not too much, not all the time. That becomes unhealthy. Yep. Um, it also increases our time and productivity. Uh, so at times, I know that you need to be connected. You need to have either your phone or your tablet or computer, especially when we're doing schoolwork and you're getting all of your instructions from there. But then put your phone aside and focus on the tasks that you are doing. Because otherwise, that constant pinging of feedback from you know, various notifications from various apps is a constant distraction. And it doesn't allow you to really focus. And then that Turn really off TikTok. Has, has a real impact on your time and productivity. It can also really improve our self-esteem and perspective as well, to stay connected with the real world. We know that every time we see social media, Instagram, Facebook, etc., we are getting a representation of something. And it's not a full picture often of what is you know, the real situation. So let's keep that in perspective. Let's keep ourselves in perspective and let's make sure that we are keeping our self-esteem as positive as we can. And it can also then improve our mood and well-being. Okay, so let's make sure we don't have the news on all the time and that we are giving us um, ourselves distance from social media and technology, as well as obviously harnessing the benefits of them. And I'm now going to pass you back to Miss Underwood for our final section. Last one. Uh, if you stayed with us this far, thank you very much. Right, our daily goals. Uh, our, I think it's really important to have goals in this time, but we have to be a bit realistic about it. You might think by the end of lockdown, you're going to have learned to play the ukulele or learn able to speak German uh, and not be able to speak a word at the moment. That's great. Have ambitious goals, but at the same time, let's be realistic with ourselves. Um, so just set yourself a few things that you can do each day. So it might be that you just decide to do your Joe Wicks exercise or tidy your room and do a bit of your work. Uh, and perhaps on some days you're not going to achieve all of those things. You might not achieve your, all your goals that you wanted to set out to do. Uh, and it is a really stressful time at the moment. And a lot of people are really suffering with anxiety. So, yes, please do have goals and make sure that you try to achieve them as much as you can and try to do as much work as you can. But at the same time, it is a weird time and we are very aware of that and and you should be aware of that on your expectation of yourself so if things go awry one day and you don't quite do everything that you needed or wanted to do it's okay the main thing is that you come back to school and when you come back to school you are happy and you are healthy so Safe please, and well everyone yeah do as much as you can please keep plodding plodding away and stay in contact um, and if there's any issues, just let us know, let your heads of years know, um, and we will help you out as much as possible. But also give yourselves a break uh, and making sure that if things don't go to plan, you are not beating yourself up about it. It is okay. We are all here for you guys and we miss you. We genuinely miss you being here and we can't wait to have you back with us. Uh, in the meantime though, you know that we are all here for you, um, your tutors, your teachers, your dolls, uh, we're all here for you so get in touch with us if you need to I know that we are contacting you regularly and that will keep up you know we will not stop doing that and um, tomorrow you will have a tutor call so tomorrow at 8 35 you will have a tutor call with your tutor and it will be a follow-up to our assembly today so on a Tuesday you will have a pastoral tutor call and on a Friday your tutor calls are always a follow-up to today's assembly so we hope you have found this really useful. Have a think about the content of this so that you can contribute to that tutor call tomorrow. Stay well, stay safe, and we yeah. will really look forward to seeing you soon. We miss you hugely and we can't wait to have you back. But the most important thing is that you are healthy, you are safe and you are well. Um, and we will see you hopefully very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care.